As this investigation is unfolding, we are learning more and more about the two brothers, the suspects involved here. So let's start with the suspect that is still at large, Jokar Sarnayev, 19-year-old foreign national. Now, according to law enforcement officials, he was born in Kyrgyzstan, and he'd been in the United States for some time. It's confirmed he's a registered student at UMass Dartmouth, which is closed today. And law enforcement officials also say he ran over his brother, who was killed during that shootout overnight. Now, moving on to his brother, the one who was killed in the shootout, Tamerlan, 26 years old. He was pronounced dead at 1.35 this morning. He was born in Russia. Uh, ABC News is reporting that Tamerlan also had a three-year-old daughter, citing the suspect's father. Uh, he also, we know, Adam, attended Bunker Hill Community College for a period of time. He was a part-time student. That was between 2006 and 2008, and that's according to the school. Now, the two brothers lived in Cambridge, Police were searching their home this morning. And a little bit about what we know, where they lived and when. According to the director of the boys' school in Russia, the brothers and their two sisters moved from Kyrgyzstan to the Dagestan region of Russia in October of 2001. The boys' uncle then tells us the brothers left for the United States in 2003, so then arriving in Cambridge. So again, in the United States for a little more than a decade. Now, that uncle, Ruslan Sarni, he spoke to the media outside of his home in Gaithersburg, Maryland, just outside of D.C. Here was his take on why he thinks they did it. We heard from him just moments ago. Take a listen. Being losers, not being able to settle themselves and thereby just hating everyone who did. How and Adam, he urged his nephew to turn himself in. He said his brother's family came to Cambridge, settled there 10 years ago, but he hadn't talked to them in years. He said that he personally wanted to ask the victims for forgiveness. He got very emotional about this incident being a shame for his family name. Adam. Uh, Megan, you've also been looking into uh, one of the brothers' uh, uh, past. Uh, Tamerlane was an amateur boxer in Boston. What more can you tell us? Yeah, Tamerlan, I got this from the USA Boxing. He was actually registered as an amateur boxer in 2003, 2004, and then again in 2008, 2010. Adam, he actually competed in the National Golden Gloves competition in Salt Lake City in 2009. He was in the heavyweight division. He represented the New England franchise. So that means he had to win local and regional fights to advance to that level. He did lose his first bout of that tournament. Um, and, and I'm told from the PR folks, there that he could not have been a contender for the Olympics because U.S. citizenship is required. Um, we also spoke earlier with a photographer who took pictures of Tamerlan actually training, doing boxing at a gym uh, in the Boston area. He gave us some insight into that side of the suspect. Take a listen. He was like an extremely gifted athlete. I mean, uh, I just remember seeing him do his warm-ups and his routines and, uh, you know, he was really strong and really uh, athletically gifted and, uh, I mean, so that that might be the only thing I could think that would lead to him, his military training. And I mean, his boxing was was uh, really, really good. So certainly a very active hobby for one of the suspects. The other suspect, again, a registered student at UMass Dartmouth. So they both certainly had social outlets in the Boston area.